Gutter Trash is a proud member of the Comics Podcast Network. Joe is picked on by bullies at school. His father died in the war, and his mother is about to lose their house. After getting candy stolen and taking a nap, the diabetic Joe falls into another realm of magic, science, and fantasy, suddenly finding himself as the savior of this new world that may simply be a hallucination due to hypoglycemic shock. Joe undertakes a quest that will forever change two worlds and his own life in Joe the Barbarian. Welcome to Gutter Trash, episode 120, Joe the Barbarian. Danger, Joe the Barbarian. <laughs> My name is Eric. My name is Jason. How goes it? Wunderbar. Wunderbar. I don't understand what you just said. It's been wonderful. Okay. Things are wonderful. What, uh, what language is that? <clears throat> That's German. No, uh, you German. know German? Uh, I know, like... Four words. Yeah, yeah. So Wunderbar being one of them. Yeah. Hit us. Huh? Hit us. Um, okay. Uh, Mach schnell. Uh, you know, yeah, like yeah. faster one. Um, um, uh, Hitler. That means yeah. Adolf, Adolf Hitler. Right, right. Um, I think that's it. Yeah. Well, that's <laughs> only three. Um, how about Gesundheit? Okay. There we go. That's, that's four. Something to do with plumbing. Yeah. 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 That's about all I know. <clears throat> How about Fraulein? Fraulein. Oh, yeah. that's a good one. That's a lady, right? Yeah, yeah. Uh, <clears throat> I'm probably mispronouncing this, but uh, Ungoblich? I don't know what that is. Uh, I don't know either, because Chris Claremont never gave any translation when he had that crawler talk. Ungoblich? Ungoblich. Oh, wow. Ungoblich. I don't know. If only Joe G was here. He knows German. Yeah, yeah. Grunenwald, I mean. Yeah, right. Plus, he's a big fan of the X-Men, too. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. Particularly Chris Claremont. Yeah. Background. That's how I learned all my foreign languages, was uh, the X-Men comics. Yeah? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. You got your Cajun. Yeah, yeah. You got your uh, German. <coughs> Russian. Canadian. Uh, Canadian. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, some French, some Japanese. Yeah. yeah. Chris one, Claremont uh, was an educator. Yeah, he kind of was a multinational, you know. <laughs> he, he melded all races together. Yeah, except for the African. He he couldn't. Uh, he apparently didn't have any words for storm to yell out uh, uh, in English. Yeah. Uh, <clears throat> so he's a racist, mm-hmm. is what I'm saying. Yeah. Yeah. Well, most likely. Yeah. But he. But he. Uh, you know, he he championed mutants and like you know, uh, you know diversity, like you know, and toleration and mm. uh, you know, <clears throat> that sort of tolerance. Toleration is not a word. No, no, it's not. <laughs> wow, I'm so stu- <laughs> I'm so stupid. It's all right. Uh, uh, toleration for you know stuff that's <laughs> not not your stuff. I've uh, I have gotten so used to idiots making up words mm-hmm. that. Uh, it, that, like it didn't even register to me that 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 word doesn't exist. Kind of sounds like a real word. Yeah, toleration. Yeah. yeah. Uh, like uh, there's a guy I work with who uh, constantly just uh, says bullshit words that he he thinks he's sounding uh, intelligent when he's saying them, but uh, he's just uh, an idiot. He's not. He's not just making them up so he can have his own like. No. Yeah. He he thinks he's saying words. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> I can't. Pull any of them off the top of my head right now because you, uh, you've tried to forget them. Oh, well, yeah, yeah. yeah, like uh, well, disorientated, disorientated, yeah, yeah. yeah. <clears throat> Does he say whelmed? Is he whelmed a lot? No, no. okay, <laughs> <clears throat> which I think is fine, yeah, yeah. I think whelmed should be out there in the ether. <coughs> Why not say it, kids? <coughs> God damn it, 
Mm. You're dying? Uh, I feel like it. Mm. Uh, it's only because my neighbors just came home. Mm-hmm. Sort of has an inverse effect on your health. Yeah, it does. Your body just starts yeah. shutting down. Pretty much. <laughs> uh, they are extreme. Sure. Uh, I bitter, bitter. Does that mean thank you? I don't know. Because um, Claremont never used that. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Nightcrawler was not polite. He's oh. kind of a dick. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, yeah, yeah. But yeah, things are good. How about you? Uh, hmm? yeah. 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 Uh, uh, do you do you really want three episodes in a row? <laughs> oh. or just uh. Uh, completely uh, self-indulge in my uh, depression and uh, my, my low feelings. I've always loved trilogies. <laughs> like Back to the Future, or, Star Wars. You know. Well, uh, I don't know. We're, we're losing fans off of our uh, Facebook page, so no. you know, that may be... It's uh, not a good sign. Yeah. <laughs> really? Does that happen? Uh, yeah, that's happened. Okay. Yeah. I have no idea. I've never been there. Yeah. <laughs> So you like something, and then you can also dislike something, uh, uh, or you can unlike, yeah, yeah not dislike. Uh. Well, it's bound to happen sooner or later. Yeah, yeah. Well, why would anyone listen to us? Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. Huh. What a beautiful day we've got going here in Dayton, Ohio. Yeah, it was. So it was a little sunny. It was sunny. Start, early. Starting to warm up, maybe a little bit. Yeah. But uh, it's 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 uh, dreary now for mm-hmm. some reason. Because I guess it is uh, pulling closer to uh, the evening hours as we speak. <laughs> this is boring. Mm. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we we <clears throat> we're not good at this. No, um, no. You think after a hundred and some episodes? Yeah, hundred and twenty. Hundred and twenty. Yeah. yeah, plus specials. Plus specials. Yeah, we we would have uh, figured out how to do this properly, how to no, no. how to jazz it up, how to be <laughs> fun, uh, how to be funny. It's not our style. No, we're just dull retards. <laughs> yeah, 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 we kind of are. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> um. <laughs> Hi, everybody. Hello. <laughs> oh, jeez. Uh, maybe, maybe we shouldn't have spent the last four hours together talking. Yeah, yeah, we did just kind of like shoot our load. You know? Yeah, we could we could pretend as if we're telling each other the same anecdotes for the first time. <laughs> That's our thing. I think we should just like meet somewhere, ready to record after having not talked to each other for a week. Yeah, and then yeah. we'll both be like, "Oh, here's this." I'm, we'll both be excited. Right, right. Uh, yeah, uh, we should, but uh, usually we record these on Sundays. Mm-hmm. Usually uh, Saturday we, we get together for drawing night. Right. So uh, usually we've uh, talked about everything we we're going to talk about yesterday. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Anything we're excited about. It. Right, right, yeah. We save all the non-passionate stuff for, right. the, for the show. <laughs> like, oh, uh, did I mention that I got new socks? Yeah. And uh, mm-hmm. then on top of the fact that, you know... I don't necessarily lead an exciting life, and I'm also often just in, in you know, the depths of depression. So, from my end, there's nothing exciting to talk about. I know something exciting. You just got a giant stack of comic books. I was going to save that for uh, later. Oh, yeah? You know? Oh, yeah? But, okay, you ruined it now. Oh, yeah? Now yeah. I can't talk about it at all. <laughs> you, can, you can talk about it now. I'm done. We got, it's exciting stuff. You uh, gotta, yeah, and I was going to save it for the other segments. How come? Because that's what we do. No, oh, we, we have no formula. I thought we'd just meander for 45 minutes and then meander for another half an hour. So, thank you for ruining my plan. Sure, sure, no problem. Joe the Barbarian by Grant Morrison and Sean Murphy. Because I'm forcing it now. Yeah. Because we got nothing else to talk about. I thought we were talking about comics. Then we are going to talk about this specific oh. comic yeah, okay. now. Cool. Because that's what we're here for. Maybe this is uh, this is our new format. We should only just talk about that and not talk about anything else. Yeah. And then, uh, and then, like once we've run out of that, we we don't go on tangents. If we do, I edit them out. Uh, that sounds horrible. That sounds horrible. And uh, every conversation not involving what we're supposed to be here talking about just gets excised. And then uh, one of us picks a comic or a movie to pick for the <sighs> that next episode. Like, that doesn't sound like fun. It sounds streamlined. 
Yeah, and, and why why wouldn't uh, why wouldn't people want to listen to that over us just uh, figuring out that we can't talk about anything? Right, right. Yeah. Not so much that we can't talk about anything. We have nothing to talk about. Right, right. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that's more fair. Yeah. Or you know, get our topics ruined and then uh, you know, I was, I was really saving that for the second half. Well, you should have mentioned that. Yeah, well, I didn't <laughs> think you were just. Uh, <laughs> Right. But yeah, one of the comics you got was uh, Joe the Barbarian. Yes, it was. The final issue, anyway. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Joe the Barbarian. Joe the Barbarian. I'm not excited to talk about this book at all. Really? Yeah. How come? Uh, I didn't like it. Really? Yeah. Huh. Were you, uh, did you have high expectations, perhaps? Uh, perhaps. Mm-hmm. Uh, although I will say that uh, I read the first two issues when they came out. I didn't like them then, either, so... And now that it's been uh, a year and a half, uh, because that's how long it takes for eight issues to come out. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, I just uh, did not enjoy it a lot. Did you, did you reread the first two as well? Oh, yeah. Uh, well, I had to. I forgot everything that was in it. Right, exactly. Yeah. Huh. Yeah, I, I didn't think it was Grant Morrison's best work by any means, but I thought it was really cool, mm-hmm. really fun. Mm-hmm. And which, for me, is high praise, because I'm not much of a fan of what I would consider fantasy, and this sort of delves in that realm. That's pretty much entirely why I didn't like it. Yeah? Yeah. Because it's fantasy? Yeah. Don't you like some fantasy? Nope. No? No fantasy? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, I liked it more because, you know, it, it was set in our realm, and then, like, it would, like, have instances where it would come back to our realm. I wanted more of those. Yeah? Yeah. Yeah. I wanted to see him fumbling around the house, and, and uh, like, like, you know, seeing the correlation between the real world, world stuff and uh, what was happening in the fantasy realm. Right. I couldn't give a shit about the fantasy realm. Yeah. Yeah. It was fun. I mean, it was like, it was really neat to see all the uh, all the different characters and whatever. Like, you know, Batman getting his head lopped off. and That was kind of funny. Yeah. I'm not saying that there were parts that weren't good, mm-hmm. but uh, for the most part, just overall eight issues, one of them oversized. I just did, did not enjoy it. Yeah. Uh, it it probably could have been shorter. Um, probably could have been like a four to six issues. I would say four. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, I re- like I said, I really wanted to see more of the ramifications of what he was doing in, uh, like, the real world. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, because yeah, uh, yeah, those were, like, the best parts, you know, when yeah. a dog uh, makes yeah, its way right, into his yeah, house yeah. and, like, you know, that bleeds over into the fantasy world. Yeah. Yeah. And, uh, Sean Murphy really good at drawing real world stuff. Yeah. Not so much at the fantasy stuff. Really? Yeah. I liked, I liked every panel. Oh, I think he's a good artist and, you know, he didn't fuck it up or anything like that. Right. It was just, uh, you know, I didn't like uh, the fantasy stuff so much. I just didn't like the fantasy stuff yeah. at all. Yeah. That's pretty much what this comes down to. Yeah. Uh, I, th- I don't know why you thought I liked fantasy stuff. I, Dislike it immensely. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I was just think I was thinking for some reason you liked Lord of the Rings. Maybe I not. like the movies. Yeah, yeah. That's that's one thing yeah. ever. Yeah, in an entire world of millions of shitty fantasy, anythings. Yeah, yeah. There's a usually if there's a sword and a sorcerer, uh, stay away. Yeah, yeah. Me too. Yeah, yeah. Elves, wizards, that sort of thing. Fuck them. Hate them. I'm not a fan. Not a fan at all. I like Conan, but that's not some. That's that's more. Uh, just brutal violence. Than, yeah. Uh, fantasy. <laughs> yeah, it has fantasy, but that's not why you're there. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, I, yeah, I, I have nothing against it. I just have never really found any that I liked, and it just always kind of, kind of rubs me the wrong way. Just yeah. that whole realm. Yeah. If I liked fantasy, I'd fucking play magic and D and D, and I can't stand that bullshit. Why would you think that? <laughs> I'm offended. Yeah, yeah. I sh- it should be probably. Yeah. I'd be offended if you know you thought I was a big fantasy. Yeah. Um. So here's the deal, folks. No fantasy, no so fi. Really? Yeah. Nothing. Nothing. The, uh, Firefly? I don't consider that fire. Sci-fi. sci-fi. It's Western. Yeah. It's yeah. Western in space. Space Western. Yeah. Yeah. Um. Hmm. So what, what do you do? You think like it was a competent story? It just wasn't something that was your kind. I of don't story. think it was competent. No. Yeah. 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 <laughs> I think this is. Among the worst things I've ever read by Grant Morrison. Really? Yeah. Wow. Even worse than Sebastiano. I love Sebastiano. Really? Yeah. I remember hating Sebastiano, but I haven't read it since it was, like, as it was coming out. 
I will say it's worse than Kid Eternity, which I hated. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. That's, that's pretty... Even the art couldn't save it for you. Oh, the art's fine. Mm-hmm. I don't read comics just for art, though. I... Yeah. Especially Grant Morrison comic. Right, yeah. I yeah. love Grant Morrison. Yeah. But, uh, you know, yeah, not everything is gold. And uh, when I read a Grant Morrison comic, I want an awesome story with awesome art. He also often usually works with terrible artists. <laughs> didn't, didn't like even some of the... I like some of the quirky elements. Like, they're Morrison-esque. Like, uh, you know, the uh, how our world was like their fantasy world. Like, they were looking at... I think there was a scene where they were trying to figure out like how staplers and vacuum cleaners and flashlights worked or something. Right. Uh, that was pretty cool because they were like, these are magical items, you know. Uh, I thought that was pretty neat, you know. That's fun. Yeah. Um, let's see. I'm trying to think of another instance of a Morrison-esque, like just weirdness. Uh, how people talk with no context to anything else. <laughs> you mean... Uh, he has terrible dialogue. Yeah? Yeah. Right. He's always had terrible dialogue, but it's really showcased in this. Uh, I never had a problem with this dialogue. Oh, it's terrible. It did. It did seem kind of like it jumped around a little. Um, like it almost seemed like it reminded me of a Terry Gilliam style, where like things just kind of like hop a little bit, like uh, it transitions a little quickly. I'm looking for a. He's looking for a dialogue. I'm looking for a dialogue. Um. Hmm. Uh, after he gets picked on by some bullies. Uh, Joe, the main character, says, more like predictable, every town has them, every school has them, stereotypes. And then panel changes, and he just says, what do I look like? <laughs> what the fuck does that mean? Uh, um, it's not what anyone was talking about. Here's another one. Joe's on the bus, and he's about to head home, and one of the bullies just says, serial killer style. You know, as bullies yell. You know, they yell random weird things like that. Maybe that's maybe that's something the kids today yell. We just you know, we're out of touch. You know? They yell serial killer style to each other. It does get mostly better throughout the book. Well, that one was only a dollar, so that meant, you, know, you, <laughs> can, you know, bad dialogue is fine for a dollar. Yeah. <laughs> um, but yeah, <clears throat> I would say that I I like the artwork way more than I like the story. I do as well. But uh, I still thought it was fun. I could see it being made into a, a, a pretty popular film. Yeah. I wouldn't see it. Uh-uh. Because then the the only appeal to the book is gone. The, the artwork? Yeah. yeah. Well, they might base it on his designs. Like, you know. What designs? Batman looks like Batman. <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, you know, Jack the Rat in his armor. You know. I even saw there was yeah, a... It's not his design work I'm a fan of. It's his actual artwork. Yeah. He's great. I mean, like his like splash pages and wide wide angle shots. Oh, and he's whatnot. fantastic. Uh, I really like his art. And didn't he do Hell Blazer? Uh, he has did he? a couple fill-ins, and then he did a mini series, uh, uh, like City of Demons, or something like that. Uh, he's he's awesome. Yeah, he's really good. I, uh, it kind of reminds me a little bit of. Uh, uh, Chris Pacello back when he was good. Okay. Yeah. Uh, I still like Chris Pacello, but he was different back in just like Shade the Changer Man. Shade the Changer Man. Yeah. yeah. That's pretty much when he was good. Yeah. yeah. De- definitely. Early Gen X. Mm-hmm. Generation X. Mm-hmm. And then like he disappeared for a while and then he came back and he started drawing like Joe Madriera. <laughs> and uh, that's when I stopped being a fan. He changed it up. I, li- I like both styles. I dislike uh, his uh, later day styles. Mm-hmm. I like how he's uh, he's got a he lot. He also of, became a worse star- storyteller. Yeah, yeah. As I say, it's a little it's a little less uh, coherent, but um, it's it's kind of more designy, but less I would storytelling. Say it's completely incoherent. Yeah. yeah. Uh, <laughs> well, well, yeah. Uh, so nothing, nothing, uh, nothing about the story you liked at all. Not really. Yeah. I kind of, I liked, it was a good, like, family, uh, you know, kind of, uh, you know, like, like family drama, like a reconciliation kind of thing. Not, not really. <laughs> I don't want to, I don't want to spoil the ending, but, well, uh, no, you yeah, know. But, but, uh, yeah, that, that, uh, didn't exist. Yeah? Yeah. 
Yeah. Uh, I mean, like, I don't think not in the way you're thinking of it. Well, I mean, uh, things kind of, things kind of like things wrap up. Yeah, and like, and like, uh, kind of. <laughs> Joe finds something that sort of, you know, helps, uh, yeah. you know, helps kind of relieve some of the tension in their lives yeah. on his adventure. You right. know. But, uh, something his father left. Yeah. Hmm. Okay. I, I expected you to like this a lot more than I did. Yeah. I'm not sure why. Because it was bad. <laughs> it was fun to play, like, Where's Waldo with all the toys, too. Like, I saw the dude in there. Did you? And, uh, yeah. you know, of course, there's some Star Trek people. and I saw some Star Trek. I saw Batman, some Transformers, some G.I. Joes. Mm-hmm. The Grey Ghost from the uh, the Batman animated series. Oh, really? Right. Nice. Uh, there appeared to be some other toys in there that no kid of this modern age would have. I think there was a Lobo. There was a logo, yeah. and I think there was also like a, a Lone Ranger, uh, uh, yeah, cowboys and Indians, yeah. some Pretty Star sure. Wars guys probably. Nah, I didn't see any Star Wars guys. Uh, uh, I was thinking there was a Chewbacca, maybe not. Uh, hmm. Yeah, I thought it was fun. I thought it was fun. I've, I mean, you know, because I've had uh, low blood sugar problems in the past. Right. Um, I never hallucinated quite right. to that point, but I definitely had a uh, impaired vision and like physical. Uh, Physical problems, right? So that was that was pretty fun. You know, when when you had those, when I had those, yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 yeah I haven't had them in a long time, but but uh, I don't no, no more so. Uh, get the shakes, yeah. get a headache, yeah. a little disorient, orientated, disorientated, yeah. 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 <laughs> but, but you, but you have you have a good toleration for disorientation. Yes, yes. But, uh, you know, I've never hallucinated anything when I've, uh, forgotten to eat or whatever. Yeah. Right. Mm-hmm. Uh, and I certainly wouldn't let any bullies just, uh, kick my shit and call me a homo and take just, your candy, you know, bar. candy bar. Yeah. yeah. Ah, yeah. I, I, I definitely had the bullies, uh, steal, steal garlic bread from me. Uh. But, uh, <laughs> during lunch, <laughs> Cecil, uh, I think I told this story. It's the so, Slayer yeah, fan. Yeah. Yeah. He used to steal my garlic bread. That was my favorite part of the school lunch too. It was the garlic bread. Was that just uh, like the uh, half of a hamburger bun toasted? <laughs> yeah, with a little garlic butter on it. <laughs> <laughs> I uh, I saw that, that Sean Murphy just put a. Well, I think they just re-released because it looks like older stuff. Yeah. He did a, a graphic novel called Off Road. Yeah, yeah. But his style isn't quite the same. It's pretty different. Yeah, yeah it's, it's like it's a little cartoony. Yeah, it's more cartoony and it's, it's not as, I guess the word, like it doesn't have the flair that this does. Right. Like, um, like there's point, points to this where, yeah, you said Chris Pacello, it kind of reminds me of Nate Powell a little bit too. Yeah, I can see that too. Like, yeah, especially yeah. the real world stuff. Yeah. So, yeah. Like all the shadowy kind of, sh- yeah. you know, line work. But, uh, yeah, I want to definitely check out more by him because I think he's, I think he's great. Yeah, he's really good. The only uh, saving point of uh, reading this was uh, looking at his art. Mm-hmm. The, uh, Grant Morrison, yeah, it didn't do it for me this time. <laughs> Maybe next time. Maybe next time. Mm-hmm. I still enjoy his Batman stuff. Yeah. Right. And maybe also I should try to read these when I'm not half asleep. Yeah. There. Yeah. That could help. Yeah. There. That could help. I've uh-huh. had a bad week. Oh, I'm sorry. It's not your fault. Sorry to hear that. Sorry to hear it. Huh? I'm sorry to hear it. Yeah. Uh, well, still. Uh, so not recommended, huh? Uh, not at this point in time. This may uh-huh. be something that, you know, further down the road I'll reread and love, but, uh, uh-huh. at this point in time, yeah, I did not enjoy this quite a bit. I, I'd say for people that like fantasy stuff, like, especially if you like Harry Potter and, yeah. like, it's right in that realm, but it's, yeah. you know, I'm just quirky enough. Yeah. I also pretty much do not ever enjoy, uh, any story. Involving a chosen one. No, oh, right. Like, yeah. Even With, the Matrix? Especially the Matrix. Really? Yeah. I love the Matrix. Uh, the first one. <laughs> yeah, that's the best one. Yeah. Yeah. It's the only good one, you mean. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Because that implies that uh, the other two are, are watchable. I think the second one's watchable and then the third one's just bad. Uh, I think out of the other two... Like the the uh, machines attacking the city of Zion is pretty much the only redeemable part. Right. That's yeah. that's the third one, right? I think that is. Yeah, that, that was a fun part. Yeah. But uh, I don't I don't like the third one though. But yeah, yeah, it's terrible. But yeah, maybe like 
Uh, I'd say this is like if Terry Gilliam was doing a Harry Potter kind of thing because it's it's quirky. Yeah, but he did that. It's called Time Bandits. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, if you like Time Bandits, <laughs> if you seen. like Time Bandits, you won't like this because I love Time Bandits. Right. <laughs> mm, see, I can't remember Time Bandits. It was like 15 years ago when I watched it. But I I enjoyed it. I mean, I wouldn't I wouldn't say like like you said definitely not Grant Morrison's best, but I thought it was good. I thought the art was incredible. Yeah. Hmm. 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 I don't know. No? Yeah. Do you want to record a second one where I think it's good? <laughs> Wouldn't that be better? No, well, I don't think so. Yeah. No. Yeah. no, honesty is the best policy. Okay. I've always been yeah. taught. No. I didn't hate it. Hmm. Just didn't like it. No. I, I can see that. That's fair. Yeah. So really offended by your whole. You thought I liked this. <laughs> eh, I mean, I thought you liked it a little more than I did. I mean, I've never seen like, you know, uh, elf tattoos on your on your shins or yeah, anything. But I'll play a fantasy video game mm-hmm. because I'm actually getting to do stuff. <clears throat> but, right. uh, when you're when you're doing the dragon slay in yourself, yeah, yeah, yeah so. then, then that's fun. Yeah, uh, and, and like I said, I enjoyed the Lord of the Rings movies because they were just good, solid movies. Because mm-hmm. Peter Jackson is great. Mm-hmm. He's all right. He's all right. Yeah. Still haven't seen Lovely Bones yet. Me neither. Yeah. Ooh. Maybe we should watch that sometime. Maybe. Maybe. Uh, we have never. Maybe when I was a kid, you know. Like, not even Legend? Remember Legend? Yeah, I didn't like that movie. Really? Yeah. Even as a kid, I didn't like that movie. <laughs> it's kind of slow. Yeah. Clash of the Titans, the original. Never saw Yeah. I had the toys, but... Oh, no, then I consider that fantasy. Really? I guess. Well, I, I mean, it's mythology, but... Mythology, Greek gods. That I have an interest in. Really? Yeah. See? I kind of lump all that stuff. I like, too. uh, I like, uh, you know, well, no, because, uh, one of them is, uh, completely fake. The other one is fake, but based in history. Uh, yeah, they were trying to, they were trying to, like, figure out answers to things. Yeah. But, but, yeah. I don't, I don't know. I kind of lump them together for some reason. There's a difference between ancient Grecians, you know, basically creating God. You know, like the Christians did, mm-hmm. you know, with their fake God. Right, right. But, uh, and, uh, you know, J.R.R. Tolkien in 1950 writing a book. You know, J.R.R. Tolkien was a Catholic. Uh, well, he had a fake God, too. Yeah. <laughs> Ow. Oh. Yeah, why did this take so long to come out, this uh, series? I don't know. Chris Morrison. Everything I mean, he does is delayed anymore. Yeah, he's he's, he's a busy guy. I mean, I know the art's pretty detailed. So right. There's a lot of there's a lot of splash pages with tiny little characters, right, right. but yeah, I don't I mean, know. it took like six months for that last issue to come out. Yeah, um, yeah. Uh, Batman Inc. Three issues in has already been late twice. Yeah, you know. Uh, yeah, I don't get it. Maybe he's uh, you know, he's practicing magic. He's hanging out with Alan Moore. Most likely. No, he hates Alan. Really? Oh, yeah. They're not fans no, of each other? No, they are not. Huh. That's surprising. <laughs> yeah. I figured they'd be pals. No. <laughs> Different kind of magic. Uh, no. They just, uh, dislike each other's writing. No. They personalities. Oh. Really? Yeah. Well, I guess that makes sense. I guess Alan Moore said something in an interview once that, uh, Grant Morrison took as a personal attack, and so, yeah, they, they hate each other. Hmm. It has nothing to do with magic or finger rings or anything like that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, finger uh, armor. Yeah. maybe, maybe Grant Morrison is upset because of the, of, uh, the full head of hair that Alan Moore has been endowed with. <laughs> <laughs> He's got paint jealousy. Maybe, maybe. Uh, but he, he makes the bold thing work. Yeah, oh yeah, yeah. he looks, yeah. he's a fine looking man. Yeah, yeah. He's in, uh, My Chemical Romance videos now. Yeah. <laughs> <coughs> Uh, he's, he's becoming a movie star. Is he? I guess, I don't know. No. I'm just saying, because he's in My Chemical oh, Romance okay. videos now. Maybe he'll be in the Joe the Barbarian movie. Maybe. Uh-huh. As, uh, the, uh, Jean-Luc Picard character. <laughs> That'd be perfect, yeah. <laughs> That'd be perfect. But only if he can wear, uh, his tiny whities 
that show off his appendectomy scar. Oh, yeah. Have you seen those photos? No. There's pictures online of him just posing in underwear. <laughs> just to show off his scar. Uh, well, he's got like a gigantic appendectomy scar across his stomach. And, uh, but yeah, he's just, uh, I think he's mostly just flaunting off his dick. Oh, wow. Yeah. Is he pretty well endowed? He seems to be. Yeah. 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 yeah the kids like him. Yeah. He's gotta be, I gotta have a big cock. Yeah. That's how. That's what makes the kids like you, yeah, apparently. But yeah, you should uh, look for those pictures and be disturbed. <laughs> Google, yeah. little Google image. Yeah, Grant Morrison underwear. Yeah. Underwear, okay. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> or scar or, or uh, pose. Yeah. yeah, giant penis. Maybe. Yeah, maybe. Yeah. Don't Google giant penis. No. Yeah, Grant Morrison yeah. might be at the bottom. If you do, one. make sure that you have the safe search on. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> <coughs> huh. Especially if you're at work. Yeah. Yeah. Something might might show up that you don't need. Yeah. Um, hmm. yeah. yeah. I don't know. Sorry. Yeah. No. Don't apologize. You should. I, I feel like I should. You yeah. shouldn't pretend to like something you didn't like. I'm yeah. just. I just thought you would like it more than that. Yeah. I thought I would too. Yeah. Hmm. Well, you should. Uh, yeah, keep reading Batman. Maybe uh, I will. Uh, sea guy, after the new sea guy. I love sea guy. Get your Morrison fix. Wish that you would have picked that. Yeah. <laughs> I still haven't read the second sea guy series. Yeah, it's really but, good. Uh, I'm looking forward to the third, mm-hmm. if it ever happens. Any talk of that? There's been talk. There's mm-hmm. supposed to be three. Okay, trilogies. I like yeah. trilogies. Yeah. 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 <laughs> uh, Mm-hmm. I don't know if he has any other uh, creator owned stuff coming out or not. Uh, not that I remembered. I mean, he's got that 180 days he's proposing, but days. Uh, that thing from of night. And yeah, no, the uh, that that art book that came out from like Dynamite. Oh, that was like a movie pitch. Yeah, yeah. I, don't, I don't think it ever happened though. Yeah, but it was, that was it. Yeah, yeah, that that book. I mean, I don't think the movie ever is gonna. Well, no, yeah, yeah cause that was it. That book. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Yeah. That looks neat. Which I lost interest in the minute I found out it wasn't an actual comic. Yeah. It was just art with descriptions. <laughs> yeah, it is really weird that they bothered to release that. It seems like something he would print up and just send to like some movie studios and be like, hey, make this into a movie. Well, he probably did, and uh, they said no, because uh, it's about Indian gods and no one wants that. <laughs> And he pulled his uh, pants off and said, check out my underwear. Who knows? Who knows? I don't know. Hopefully he's got more stuff coming, though. I hope so. And Sean Murphy as well. Sean Murphy? Yeah, Yeah, Sean Murphy. Murphy. Yeah. Uh, uh, As far as I know, he's still supposed to be doing his uh, multi-universe thing for DC. Where... He's going to write The Watchmen. And... Oh, yeah? Yeah. Really? Sort of. Yeah. Like his own version? Basically. It's like uh, The Watchmen universe, but actually uh, has the characters they were based on instead of uh, okay. the characters. I gotcha. So, like Blue Beetle and whatnot. Blue Beetle and The Question. And, yeah. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. That's cool. Yeah. But that was announced like <laughs> back when Final Crisis finished, so... Yeah, who knows what the fuck's going on now? Right. Yeah. He's probably got it started. Yeah. Yeah. Hmm. We have Flashpoint to look forward to. I don't think he's involved with that. <laughs> Flashpoint? Yeah, I don't think so. Yeah. I don't think so. Yeah, there's been like 39 miniseries coming out, and they've been announcing creative teams. I haven't seen his name mentioned. So. His Flash stuff was a great. I oh, back in the 90s. Yeah, yeah. I like I yeah. that. Yeah. Good stuff. Yeah, yeah. Well, they can't all be winners. Nope. That's what we take yeah. from this. I've always said that, though, about uh, everyone. Like, uh, Warren Ellis, Garth Ennis, all the, the writers that I really admire. Uh, you know, they're, they're not all gold. Mm-hmm. They, and uh, this was uh, this was Grant Morrison's brick. Oh. <laughs> you mean, like, the movie? Uh, yeah. yeah. Oh. That's his brick of cocaine. Yeah. And uh, he's got to uh, find a, find out who killed his dead girlfriend. Oh, okay. We'll give her <laughs> in high school. Oh, I, I like it even even better now. <laughs> I think he did okay, Grant. Even even if it is kind of fantasy, it was fun. 
was fun. I don't know that I would call this fancy. Fantasy. 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 Yeah, yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I really liked Jack the Rat. I thought he was great. Yeah, he was a good fine. character. Because yeah. uh, he, like, redeemed himself. Like, he was the coward, but he yeah. came back through. Yeah. Well, that was cool. I think that kind of also sums up uh, a lot of my feelings on this book, was that everything was very predictable. Yeah. 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 He, he, uh, when I read a Grant Morrison comic, the last thing I want is predictable. Right. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> And yeah, just uh, following all the same beats of any other fantasy, anything, or quest movie. Or... Maybe he's always wanted to do one, though. I yeah, mean, that's fine. It's, uh, you know. It's like a blues song. I mean, they follow the same yeah, you know, yeah, structure. That's but... why I can only listen to blues for, for so many minutes before getting mm, bored. Right. <laughs> yeah, I think that's fair. Yeah. 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 Well, any. any... Anything else you want to say about Joe? Or? Uh, if you like pretty art, read it. If uh, you like fantasy, you'll probably like it. Mm. If you like seeing toys fight, you'll probably like it. Uh, these are all things I do not like. Pretty art. Pretty art. <laughs> uh, Grant Morrison. Uh, toys. Ap- ap- appendectomy scars. Appendectomy scars. Diabetes. I don't like diabetes. Uh, not a fan. Uh, I don't like rats. Uh, I don't like soldiers. I don't like uh, power outages. I don't like dogs. Uh, I don't like moms. Uh, I don't like bullies. I don't like fat kids. I don't like girls. I don't like planes. Is there a plane in there? Yeah. Oh, there's like the ho- the, uh, like the home sky base. ship, yeah. Yeah. sky ship or whatever. Yeah. I don't like light bulbs. I don't like fuse boxes. So this book you're saying wasn't really for you. I don't like soda because I call it pop. I don't like basements because they're dangerous. Well, yeah. Uh, I don't like kids with big, awesome rooms that I never had as a kid. <laughs> you have a pretty sweet room. Yeah. Nice skylight. Yeah. yeah. Well, it's fair. It's fair. Uh, I don't like insulin. <laughs> <laughs> uh, all right. All right. I'm getting the picture. You didn't like a lot of things in this book. I don't like the name Joe. <laughs> yeah. I don't like barbarians. I don't understand the logo of this book and why the letter O is a thing. <laughs> I don't shield. know what it is. It's a shield. Is it? Yeah. Is it? it? Looks like a barbarian shield. Is it? That's what I was thinking. Like you know, a Conan shield. I guess it could be. It also looks like it might be like uh, birth control pills. It, it doesn't really tie in though because he never really has a shield in no, the story. Never. Like, yeah. and, been, and the people who do have shields aren't circular. You know what it should have been? Uh, a, a pop bottle cap. Yeah. That would have been good. Yes, right? it would. Yeah. 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 yeah, we just improved upon it. All right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, I don't like comics. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I think we should take a break. Okay. <laughs> we'll, we'll talk about all the things that you didn't, that you don't like, and then uh, we'll come back. <laughs> no one said a word, don't you like it on the slide, don't you like it till it hurts. Have I been on your mind, what's a voice without a song, something in your head.
red dress, paint my toes and twirl. Take it back to old times when I was still a girl. Cause now I'm a baboon boy's coochie coochie coo. Sort of wonder why I missed a kiss for you. Hey, welcome back to Getter Trash. I don't like widows. <laughs> oh no. I don't like dwarves. Right. I don't like tiny submarines. That is everything that I don't like. <laughs> Our break lasted six and a half hours. <laughs> you don't know what I endured for you people. I'm the martyr. <laughs> I saved you. Um Yeah. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Oh, and I don't like giants. <laughs> giants? Yeah. Did you notice, speaking of giants, yeah. I noticed there was a panel in there where uh, uh, there's a word balloon pointing to the wrong character. It's when Joe and Jack and the giant, the prince of the giants, are all hanging out. I think Joe is passed out, and uh, and like the word balloon goes to, I forget who it goes to, but it's like either it goes to Jack and it's supposed to be the giant or it goes to Joe and it's supposed to be the giant or something. Yeah. But it like tripped me up and I had to read that panel like eight times. I was like, I don't understand this. Yeah. I just thought it was Grant Walsh and wackiness. <laughs> right. yeah. Just his, uh, his dialogue. Yeah. Maybe that's what the editors were too. Whoever, you know, drew the, right, yeah. you know, put in the balloons. They're like, oh, this doesn't make sense if it goes to anybody. <laughs> yeah. Like, oh, well, it's Morrison. It's genius. <laughs> <laughs> no. But yeah. Yeah. Yeah, dog. Dog indeed. Mm. I like dogs. <laughs> oh no. I I think that's 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 <laughs> we went over that too. <laughs> that's not true. There was an awesome dog when we uh, went for a burrito. No, oh, yeah. Uh, I got to pet the dog. Yeah. I love it when you walk out of a store and there's a friendly dog chained oh, yeah. up, you know? Well, like I saw that guy uh, walking around out in the front. He just like stopped in front of your car. I thought, oh man, we're going to walk out there and like the dog is going to be. An asshole dog, you know, just start barking at us or whatever while we're trying to get back to your car. Right. But no, he was super friendly. Oh, yeah. So, like, came up to both of us and forced us to pet him. Well, we probably both smelled like hot food. Yeah. And he was like, hey, friends. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, we had some mighty fine uh, Dayton-grown burritos here. Yeah, yeah. Some hothead burritos. Yeah, yeah. Tasty stuff. Mine was okay. I, I, yeah, they uh, they doled out all the fresh ingredients. I was like, I felt like a king because <laughs> you were right in front of me and yeah. you got your your uh, tacos and burrito. Yeah, I used up the last of everything. Yeah, so scraping yeah. the bottom of the barrel, <laughs> like literally three different things they brought out. Yeah. Like they even like were frying my onions and peppers. Yeah, yeah. Like I could watch them. You know, it was like that fresh. So yeah, I was, I was waiting for you, and I could smell like the uh, the peppers <laughs> and the onions, uh, you know, frying. And I was right. like, oh, that smells really good. And I was like, I got the shit peppers. <laughs> oh, they like, like had to. They were like crusty that they scraped off the side of the right, barrel. Yeah, they sitting there for five <laughs> hours. And, oh, <laughs> mine was wunderbar. <laughs> Bringing it back. Uh, uh, speaking of a uh, good. Uh, you know, wholesome uh, food and drinks to put in your body. I I, I uh, got to go get some more illegal milk today. Nice. <laughs> I actually know it was yesterday. Was it yesterday? I don't know. Yeah, it was yesterday. Uh, um, did you do that before work? Huh? Yeah, on, on the way to work. Yeah, I stopped stopped downtown in the alley and <laughs> went over and unlocked the unlocked the uh, <clears throat> the trailer of the of the you know ma- unmanned truck. Right, right. <laughs> it's so weird. There's like this unmanned vehicle, and you like you know you unlock it and you walk into it and and there's no lights or anything. It's just it's just weird. It's a weird thing. But uh, yeah, I got Doogie's uh, illegal milk while he was 
He was rock climbing in Kentucky. Yeah, yeah. You guys don't even live together anymore. No, yeah. no. It's like, uh, it reminds me of my aunt and uncle who live in Kentucky. They've, they've been divorced, or I don't know if they're officially divorced, but they've been separated for like a decade. Right. But anytime something goes wrong, um, they've neither one like remarried or started a relationship. Right. So anytime something goes wrong with my aunt's car or house, she calls my uncle and, uh, he, you know, he has to come over to her house and fix it or, right. you know, give her a ride somewhere or something. But they're, they're not like friends or anything anymore even. Right. But, like, so, so you're saying that you're not even friends with Dugan? Not, fr- yeah, I don't, yeah, I don't really like him. I mean, there hasn't been, the sex was terrible for right. years. Right. Um, uh, we stayed together for the kids mostly. Um, <laughs> <laughs> uh, but no, no, yeah, so it reminds me of that. Like, we don't even live together anymore, but. I'm doing it, doing him the solids because he's a he's a stand up dude. Right. Well, that's good. Yeah. yeah. I want to keep him in the unpasteurized milk. Yeah. Somebody's got to. <laughs> <laughs> Any adventures with illegal food products this uh, week? Are you illegal? Yeah. Uh, not that I know of. Mm-hmm. Uh, I was sick all day Thursday, so you know. So whatever food products I ate, legal or unlegal, I think uh, you know, hurt me. They were bad. they were bad one way or the other. Yeah, yeah, I was hurting. <laughs> oh, uh, fuck! Excuse me. Um. Ha ha ha. Oh yeah, I thought you were gonna go see uh the, the sneak preview to L.A. I did not. What happened there? Uh, what was it called? L.A. Battle L.A. Battle, Battle Los yeah. Angeles. Uh, yeah, uh, me and uh, Joe G. were, were going to go. Uh, but when he came over Wednesday for league nights, we, we both kind of came to the consensus that uh, we're just tired and we really necessarily didn't want to see the movie, but, you know, it was free and we both had stuff we wanted to do, like, you know, that, that you know, two-hour movie would have uh, eaten up a good chunk of the night. Right. Wow. So you're just like, yeah, let's, wow. let's not go. So even for free, huh? Yeah. It's not even tempting. Yeah. Me, me neither. Like, I didn't want to see it. For yeah. So if, if I hear good things about it, maybe I'll see it on DVD, but... Yeah. Mm, I've only talked... Jeremy, uh, our former uh, guest, uh, yeah. Jeremy Hoyt, he went... He uh, he said it was watchable, but he yeah. said it was... He said it was... Uh, um, what do you what do you compare it to? Band of Brothers and Independence Day mesh, mesh together gotcha. without anything new from either without right. something from those movies. Oh, but he did say he said uh, there was kind of an incident in the theater. Oh. Um, he said that. Did you see this at the the sneak preview? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Right. yeah. He, he said uh, it was packed, and uh, he said he said there was like three like you know late teenagers like in the eighteen nineteen year old uh, right. right behind him in the row behind him. And, uh, he said they were just like loud and obnoxious, like while they're waiting for the movie. And uh, apparently there was some problem because the movie was supposed to start at 7.30 and he said it was after 8 before it even started. But, uh, apparently the kids were like just like heckling people. Uh-huh. Like he said, there was a, a girl there with her dad, like walking up, you know, the stairs or whatever. And they were like, like yelling at her based on her clothes. Like, you know, I guess she was wearing like, Orange and blue together. Yeah, I, don't, yeah. I don't know. And uh, and then like the which know, are yeah. like a sporting team yeah, probably. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I assume the, the complementary colors. Mm. I was never good at color theory. Oh yeah, I me mean, neither. Yeah, they're I'm, opposites. I know that much blue. I know. And orange. I know one's primary and one's secondary. That's really? all. Yeah, <laughs> that's yeah, all yeah. I really know. Uh, but uh, and I guess the dad like was like you know yelling back at them. You yeah. know, like you know, quit talking shit to my daughter. I'll kick your ass, little you know bastards. Right, and, right. And then apparently, like, they just kept going on, not necessarily just about her, but right, just, right. they were just being, like, little douches. Yeah. And apparently, like, another man who was sitting behind them, like, like grabbed one of them by the neck and, like, literally was, you know, like, <laughs> about to choke him to death. And, right. And he said, you know, you need to shut up or, you know, something bad's going to happen to you, basically. Right. And then uh, he said that guy, like, went back to his seat and, like... People were like, yeah, yeah, like around them, you know, like getting the mob mentality going. Yeah. And he said, and like, and the kids just kept like, kept doing it, kept making fun of people right. and just like being super rude and loud. And he said, uh, luckily though, um, before the movie, 
started. Like they, I guess they got bored and they decided to leave. Yeah. That, or maybe they were getting a little nervous that they were going to get their asses kicked when the right, right. lights went down. But, but the funniest part is, uh, Jer- Jeremy said when they got up, they're like, "Hey, don't you sh- don't you work at Mavericks?" And Jeremy looked up, and they were three of our magic customers. <laughs> And Jeremy was like, that just, he's like, that's just proof even more why I hate magic. <laughs> Jer- Jeremy, I think, is right with you as far as, like, his fan of, uh, right. being a fan of magic and yeah. the people who play it. I would imagine him being, uh, not only a comic guy, but, uh, a fan of, like, you know, anime and, and manga and stuff like that. Uh, that, yeah, he would, uh, despise it, uh, as much. If not more than me, simply because he has to work around it right. all the time. Yeah. I think he was pretty indifferent to it until, um, until like, like it's, it's become the largest portion of our sales. Right. And, 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 I'll, and there's like a lot of people with like giant lists of cards that come in. Right. And, uh, five minutes before you close. Five minutes before you close, literally. Yeah. And, uh, and although it's great for business, I'm really glad that. We've got it because right. honestly, I don't know that we'd be in business if all we cared was comics and sports cards. Right. But, uh, maybe if we only cared comics and not sports cards. Right, right. So we wouldn't be losing money. But, <laughs> um, but yeah, like it's just become such a, a portion of, of, of our day where you kind of like the comics fans, they come in and, uh, you don't, I mean, like, you know, you say hi to them and I guess occasionally you might be like, oh, that's over here, you know, and you show them right, something. Right. But they're pretty self-sufficient. Yeah. Um, they just, I mean, comic fans like to dig around. They like to look at things, yeah. you know. Yeah. Um, magic guys, you have to hold their hand the entire time they're in the store. Right. They, they either don't know what they're looking for or they don't know, you know, what it's called or, you know, or the, they right. have, you have to look up like a hundred prices. And I'm not, I'm not bitching because, like I, like I think it's hard or something, but it's, it's, it's not annoying. that. It's just, it's, it's so time consuming that you right. can't, you can't do any of your busy work. Like if, you know, we usually have stuff that we need to do during the day right. and, um, like the business of maintaining the store. Yeah. Like, yeah. <laughs> just, you know, filling things that are empty and emptying things that are full and right, right, that right. sort of thing. But, <laughs> <laughs> but I mean, they have magic customers, although I love a lot of them, uh, the majority of them are like very, very time consuming. Right. Sounds like they're just annoying children. There's a lot of children and man children. Yeah. Um, but well, that's what I meant when I said yeah, children. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I mean, you know, like, I'm not, I'm not like trying to say they're all jerks because there's some really, really swell dudes. Yeah. And, uh, just like there's some good fantasy. I just hate most of it. Yeah. yeah exactly. There's some good magic customers. Which, most of them are asshats. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Would you consider, uh, Del Toro movies, fantasies, sort of? Uh, which one? Like, uh, Devil's Backbone or? Uh, no, that's a ghost story. It's no. a horror. Yeah. And then, uh. Pan's Labyrinth. Pan's Labyrinth. Close yeah. to fantasy, but, uh, a lot more grounded in the real world than, yeah. But that's, that's that, what That's I, what this book should have been. Yeah. Yeah, just like more of that. Yeah. More of the real world. Yeah. 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 And the real world stuff was just as interesting, if not more, than the fantasy elements. Yeah. Of, oh, yeah. Of. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. Yeah, magic sucks, basically. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, and this is me as a former magic player. Like, uh, right. I enjoyed it. It was a fun game, but yeah, I'm, I'm done. There. I'm yeah. done with magic. Um,. So yeah, so yesterday I uh I basically discarded ten, twelve years of my life. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Your stamp collection. It's gone. <laughs> it is gone. Burned it. <laughs> <coughs> so things own you. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And uh, set a blaze to it. You really licked that problem. Oh, because it's a stamp. Yeah. I pounded it out. Oh. Oh, that's a different kind of stamp. Stamps, that's yeah. a different kind of, oh, wow. <laughs> uh, much like the kind of stamps that you would get at an office depot. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, where my best friend works at. And that is one of the 15 jobs that she can do yeah. for you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no more, no less. No more, no less. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> But yeah, you uh I was impressed. You uh got I, rid of some stuff. Yeah. 
gathered up all my my toys, pretty much. Yeah, I still have uh, a good chunk of toys left. I like it that you call it toys instead of like action figure collectibles or yeah, something. Yeah, yeah. yeah, they're toys. They're toys. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, they were all uh, out of package. Oh yeah, yeah. which which uh, you know. Unfortunately, it does affect their sell value. Right, yeah. but uh, either way, four boxes full of uh, toys. I got $300 worth of trade at my local comic shop. That's awesome, yeah. Which, honestly, like when I brought the toys in, I figured I'd get like $70. Yeah. <laughs> Looking at them, like eyeballing them, I was like, wow, that might, there might be like 100 bucks worth of stuff here. Right, that's right. what I was thinking. I was like, wow, that's, that's going to be a lot of comics. Yeah. And it was. $300 worth yeah. that I bought yesterday with that trade. That is crazy. Yeah. Uh, I went a little over, had to pay actual $12 in well, cash. Yeah. Yeah. But you got like, you know, 15 pounds of comics probably. Yeah. yeah. Uh, like, like uh, this is one of those times where I wished I'd had a, uh, a fancy phone so I could have uh, taken a picture uh, to put online of the, the size of the stack. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, Maybe more than fifteen pounds. It, it was pretty heavy. Yeah. I mean, there's there's one hardback in there and then a couple of trades. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's at least uh, I wouldn't say it's a foot of comics, right? But but eight inches thick. Isn't that crazy that that because like in my head when I think three hundred dollars worth of new comics, it should be like a long box of comics, right? Because I'm so used to like just oh, thinking. Oh yeah. There's probably only like 50 comics. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know, but because <laughs> they're all like four. Some of them are five dollars. I mean, yeah. comics are expensive. Yeah, they are. Why? Why are they so expensive? That's why it took me so long to buy them all, and I had to trade my life in for them. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and and you know your life and and part of your body. I mean, there was some dust on them, yeah, so like yeah, a lot yeah, of it's like it's, skin yeah. over the years. Yeah, and, yeah. So literally, part of you is at Mavericks yeah. now. And uh, you know, some of those toys had uh, sharp swords. Mm-hmm. Uh, I probably like poked myself on one and bled a little. So right. Wow. Your, your blood and skin. Yeah. yeah. Wow. You really did sacrifice. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I, yeah, I gave away around, or I, I didn't give away. I, I traded you guys about 90% of all the toys that I own. Uh, I still have... Uh, Got uh, a couple Hellboy figures left. I uh, kept most of my DC Universe toys. Um, have one Spawn toy that I kept. Really? Yeah. Just a uh, for nostalgia or uh, partial nostalgia, partial because it looks cool. Okay. Uh, got it right here. Uh, oh, okay, it's Cowboy an actual spawn. actual Spawn. Yeah. yeah. Uh, it's the only one uh, of all the Spawn toys that I gave you guys that uh, can stand up on its own. <laughs> That's why I kept it. McFarlane toys. Congratulations. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, a lot of them need some sort of stand, and, and sometimes even the stand doesn't help them. Nope. Is, uh, I think, like, three of the ones I gave you had, like, these elaborate, like, uh, uh, playset stands, right. you know, with, uh, like, pegs and, uh, like, molded holes for their feet to fit perfectly right but they never do. no yeah they don't i mean they look awesome they're, oh, they're, yeah. they're great little statuesque yep you know things trinkets but as toys yeah they don't like yeah you can't really stand them up and then if you try to play with them you're they like, break a thousand little pieces will fall yeah, off yeah. yeah but yeah mcfarlane yeah they make some nice looking stuff yeah especially if you keep it in the package yeah yeah <laughs> but Sorry. then it's not a to- no no not you not you no i'm glad you opened yours I mean, we can actually sell them a lot better if they're loose because they're cheaper. Right. But and they just fall apart easier. Right, so. yeah, yeah. Uh, I think uh, I was talking to, to Jeremy, and uh, there was one toy that I traded into you guys that uh, was probably like a good chunk of uh, the uh, the money I uh, Oh, yeah. The uh, Optimus Prime figure. What, what was that one called? It was like the uh, something class, like... Something class Optimus Prime? Uh, I don't know. I think it was like a 25th anniversary kind of thing. Yeah. Uh, it's like over 12 inches tall, and it's like fully articulated, like his individual fingers move. Yeah. Uh, he's huge, and then like on top of all that, he still transforms. And, and he came with Megatron as the, yeah, the gun, yeah, the yeah. Energon cube or something. Uh, the, uh, the, the 
The Matrix of Leadership. Whoa. Wow. <laughs> I've never heard that term before. <laughs> or if I had it, didn't commit yeah. to it. Wow. Well, yeah, there's yeah, some good it's stuff. It's removable, and it opens up, much like it would in the cartoon or the movie. It's <laughs> crazy. And when I say movie, I mean the animated movie, not right. the Michael Bay piece of shit. <laughs> yeah, we'll be selling those to uh, kids for weeks to come. Yeah. Or to Jerry. Or to Jerry, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, he seemed excited by the, oops, uh, what was it? The Muppets? Was it the uh, Muppets? I don't remember. Something. Mm-hmm. He went a little, little yeah. static over. I'd forgotten that I'd had some of those Muppet toys. Yeah, yeah, yeah those are great. Yeah, I'd, uh, yeah, because well, I gave those guys, I gave like I had four boxes, uh, brought them all in, and uh, then I went to go kill some time while you guys uh, sorted through them. And I mean, I admit that uh, I didn't take care of a lot of them. Uh, a lot of them were shoved away in boxes already. Uh, a lot of them were dusty as fuck. <laughs> and all of them had loose pieces that were just sort of uh, scattered everywhere. Right. So you guys had your work cut out for you. Yeah, it was kind of fun. Yeah. yeah. Uh, but, uh, like, like, yeah, I went away for like an hour and a half, and when I came back, you guys still weren't done with it. And uh, But, like, you, you had gone through, like, quite a bit of them. And, like, I saw a bunch of figures in there that I forgot that I'd had. And that, uh... <laughs> I was maybe having second thoughts about yeah. uh, getting rid of. I know I could tell you were like you're like half joking around. You're like you know sneaking, slipping them in your coat. Yeah, but I could tell there was a little part of you that was like, "Oh yeah, I'm totally serious." Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, biggest regret so far: uh, Batman, Joker, Mister Freeze, Grendel, and Madman. <laughs> that's that's uh, like five figures. Yeah. Yeah. Well, well, we'll sell them back to you. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe I'll get them for Christmas. Yeah. Did those, uh, were those, uh, pricey or not pricey? Uh. When you were looking them up. The, I never, I don't think I added any of those. Oh, okay. Cause yeah. I, I just added like one stack of them and then Jeremy was piecing them together while I was, I was mostly trading with magic customers. Right, right, right. Cause yeah. we got super magic crazy right, right after you dropped them off. Right. And you know, and that's cool. That's good. It was good for business. Yeah. yeah. But I do like playing with toys when we get them in. When yeah, we get collections, yeah. that's, that's that's one of the perks of the job. And, uh, even though you've been coming here for like three years or so, there's like I would say most of those you had never seen yeah. before. Oh yeah, yeah, I'd seen a handful of them. Yeah, but yeah. yeah, just, uh, just uh, partially just wanted to just you know get rid of some clutter, and then also uh, I I needed to. Uh, Clear out my file there at Mavericks, and it pretty much did it. Yeah. yeah, except for that one elusive bag we think might be floating around. Yeah, because I could swear I have some books that uh, weren't in that stack. Yeah. But uh, at least if we find that bag, I should be down to just one file. Yeah. Instead yeah. of uh, my full file and a bunch of bags. <laughs> you're, you're off of probation. Yeah. 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 And then I'm getting my tax return, so I'll buy the rest of this. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. And uh, start from scratch and build it all back up. <laughs> yeah, it's, yeah, so it goes. And so it goes. Uh, no, I should. Uh, I should probably, you know, either not buy comics anymore, or at least come in on a regular basis and buy them. Those are uh, those are both good options. Yeah, uh, yeah. I'd say coming in on a regular basis would be, yeah. be the best. That way, you're still reading comics. Yeah, but I don't like them. <laughs> <laughs> well, I know you don't even like Grant Morrison's oh, comics. I know. It's awful. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'll do some snooping around tomorrow, but I can find another bag there. Yeah, I would go in today to to look, but uh, I don't want to do that. They're, they'll just be playing with your toys all day? Well, there's that. Pricing them? The, the retard will be working. <laughs> it's so, so mean of you to refer to Jeremy that way. <laughs> he tries and he tries. Can't help it. <laughs> you know what? I'm behind those guys at the movie theater. Yeah? Yeah. You were the guy that choked him? No. They were the, he was the guy behind those guys. Man. To be that guy, though, that would have been fucking awesome. Yeah, man. right? I know. I would have been, like, you know, shaking that guy's hand. People plotting him. Yeah, yeah. Like, would you like some popcorn? I'll run a bunch of popcorn. I mean... I have occasionally, not to the extreme where I choked someone out. Right. Yeah. But I've uh, yelled at people in the movie theater and, and like, gotten applause for it. Yeah. Yeah. 
but uh, it's a nice feeling. Yeah, well, yeah, to be championed for right, right. To, to know that you're right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're like, I'm not just incredibly, you know, uh, insensitive and asshole. Right, right. <laughs> <laughs> or you're like, or if I am, others are as well. Yeah. yeah. All right. Uh, I gotta go. Yeah. Yeah. So let's wrap this fucker up. Yeah. Yeah. So what are we doing next week? I guess uh, we're going to go on a field trip. Yeah, yeah. And I go to... Uh, oh, what movie are we saying at the theater? <laughs> um, I think we're going to we're gonna skip it. We're not going to read anything. We're not going to watch anything. What? We're just going to live life. What? We're going to the capital of Ohio. What? I think. Chillicothe? Chillicothe. <laughs> um, no, we're going to Columbus, Ohio. Oh, I guess that is the capital now. <laughs> but... <laughs> Yeah, since they bombed Chillicothe. Yeah. Uh, you know me, I'm, a, I'm an old school kind of guy. I don't like change. Yep, nope, <laughs> nope. <laughs> you still say there's 48 states. That's fine. Yep. That's fine. 48, more like 40. <laughs> <laughs> nice even number. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> uh, anyway. Yeah, no, the 12th annual Small Press Alternative Comics Expo in Columbus. Yay! Space. Space. Awesome. So, yeah, we're going to do that and talk about it when we come back for for Kurt Dins. Yeah. Audience of one. Yeah. Because everyone else will be there experiencing it with us. <laughs> we'll see you guys there. Yeah. Most of you. Yeah. Except for Kurt. Yeah. Kurt will be in beautiful Chicago, Illinois. Yeah. Is that right? Yeah. yeah. Is there a Chicago show? There is a Chicago show, C2E2, which I wouldn't mind going to at some point. Yeah. But uh, we were just in Chicago, and uh, we both prefer space. So, yeah, 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 we do. It's right there. It's, it's in right the backyard. There, right. And, yeah, Chicago is right in Kurt's backyard. Yeah. So, makes sense. Right. Why would he come out here? I don't blame him. Yeah. Who would come to You're this? You're an dump? idiot, Kurt, for coming out to space four years in a row yeah. or whatever. It's yeah. Been. I'm sure there was something better you could have done. Right. Yeah. You live in fucking Chicago. There's always something better to do than come to Ohio. Even just grilling out in the backyard Seriously. in Chicago would be better. <laughs> No, I love space. I think it is yeah, worth driving it's, it's to. It's fun, yeah. Well, it is for us, because we live an hour away. <laughs> if I lived in Chicago and there was no other convention that weekend, right, I would right. totally go to space. All right, fair enough. All right, well, let's get out of here, and uh, we'll see you next week with our space review episode. Yeah. All right. <laughs> You can subscribe to Gutter Trash at iTunes or directly at guttertrash.net. If you go to iTunes, please leave us a review. You can email us at eric at guttertrash.net or jason at guttertrash.net. For more info, you can find us on Facebook. Or you can go to seanborn.net or buyerbeware.guttertrash.net. Listen to our sister podcast, League Night, at league.guttertrash.net. Thank you for listening. Until next time. <laughs>